So, for those that know me, they know I'm a big gamer. And I never wore headphones, but I got these for Christmas. And I've been using them quite a bit. And I, and to be clear, I asked for headphones for Christmas because I, I wanted to see what, what everything was about. And these Sony ones are like their like 3D headphones with like their 3D sound or whatever. And um, it's a game changer. Like, I don't know why I wasn't on the headphone game earlier. A couple friends had told me about the headphone game earlier and I just didn't really believe them. But then, like I said, I got these and um, if you're not gaming with headphones, amazing. And you can like turn the TV off, like or the volume all the way off. And you just get the sound from the headphones. So like you can go until, you know, two, three, four o'clock in the morning, just playing, playing, playing your PlayStation or Xbox or whatever. But highly recommend headphones if you don't have them. So, I am a big fan of marketing. Um, that's something I just truly enjoy. Just, it's one of those things where, you know, you're staying creative all day long. And now, <clears throat> there's different types of marketing, obviously. Um, I started more on the market research side, and then I transitioned over more towards, like, traditional marketing, and then, you know, social media and whatnot. But... One of the things that people just don't really kind of appreciate for marketing is creating a campaign. And man, those things are not easy, obviously, to do. You know, you gotta really have a clear kind of intention on how you're gonna do it. And in my opinion, is lacking is that people think that the social media should also be part of the, the campaign, meaning that Whatever they post on social media should be the from the from the campaign, and I disagree with that. I think the campaign should be should be its thing, but then social social media should stand alone. You know, that's not really necessarily part of uh, part of the campaign itself. And an example of that is Red Bull. Red Bull, you know, for the most part, we know them as you know, you know. Red Bull gives you wings, and that's kind of what their campaign is. That's what their, that's what their commercials kind of show. But then, when you go and look at their social media, it has nothing to do with, with, uh, with, with their campaign. It just shows all of their like action stuff, all the stuff that they're involved in, all the stuff that they like sponsor and all that, like Red Bull Racing and like the dirt bikes and all all that stuff. So. Anyways, that was just a quick monologue on, on that. So I started out in market research. It's honestly one of my favorite things to do. But the question I get all the time is like, man, I don't even know how to start market research. I don't even know what to do. And it's a lot easier than people may think. So I did the screen recording. So I'm gonna drop my phone screen recording over here somewhere, whichever looks better or fits better excuse me and um, people don't realize just how many free tools there are available to you so you can use something like a survey monkey and and you get five free questions just by creating an account with them that's it you create an account and you get five free questions that you can use <clears throat> so let's jump in so you jump in you create an account I'm using my marketing account here in this case, so marketing you. And then you have no surveys created, so we'll create a survey. Um, and then boom, we're off and running. Now you can use this for like customer experience or maybe you're trying to put out a product of some sort and you want to do like some A-B testing, something quick, blah, blah, blah. There's a ton of stuff you can do with this. So, you know, get creative. But again, you get five free questions. So we'll do one, we'll just do a customer experience one for an example. You know, again, this could be used for like a clothing brand or retail or whatever. And then we'll pop that in, boom, okay. And then now we wanna create a second page because we don't want them to like see the question on the same page and be able to, 
you know, be biased or whatever. So we'll create a second page with that button on the bottom there. And then we hit the button up top to create a new question. And then boom, we're just gonna put this kind of open end question, open end meaning that they can just like type in whatever they want as their answer. And then we're done. We just created, created a quick kind of customer experience survey. And now we're ready to roll. So now we use the envelope. We create the question. Hey, my dog is going nuts over here. And then now we can share this via whatever, you know, text or SMS, or you know, we can share this via Facebook. If you have that, if you want to link that, or you just have this link available that you can just kind of copy here from the top and then you're good to go. And you could put that in like your email or like a MailChimp or whatever. And boom, that simple folks. Anyways, that was a lot for the first video coming back. All right, over and out.